Hello, my name is Thomas Kesselheim. I'm a professor of theoretical computer science at University of Bonn. Welcome to my course on algorithms and uncertainty. This semester, all teaching has to be remote, which means I have to record my lectures. And so I thought I might as well make these recordings available to the public. So if you're interested in the topic, feel free to watch the course or only parts of it. What's this course about? Well, it is about algorithms making decisions under uncertainty. And let me first give you two examples where you yourself make decisions under uncertainty. The first one is the following problem. Suppose you want to go to the zoo. And of course you'll have to buy a ticket. Now you have the option of buying either a day ticket, which lets you enter the zoo only today, or you can buy a year ticket which lets you enter the zoo every day of the year whenever you want to. And of course, the year ticket is much cheaper than buying many day tickets. So the uncertainty is, of course, how often do you want to go to the zoo? Depending on how often you will go there, it is cheaper to buy the day ticket or, or to buy many day tickets, depending on how often you go or to buy only one year ticket. This is an example of the ski rental problem, the first problem that we will be covering in this course. We will first model this problem mathematically and afterwards we will analyze algorithms for this problem. So this means we will derive certain guarantees how well these algorithms perform and how will we do this by mathematical tools, we will prove certain results of how good we are in comparison to how good we could have been. Another setting that we will be considering is two-stage optimization. This is the kind of a problem that you're facing when you have the choice between booking a non-refundable and a refundable ticket for a train ride, for example. The non-refundable ticket might be a lot cheaper, but there is a chance that you won't want to travel that day, actually. The non-refundable ticket is more expensive, but you can even buy this the day you want to travel. And in two-stage optimization, we are actually considering such settings where there's a first stage in which you can make choices, the choices are actually cheap, but you do not actually know what you will have to cover um, this is something that you only know when you're entering the second stage. Then covering things are, is more expensive, but you actually know what you have to cover, so the uncertainty has gone. And also for these kinds of problems, we'll introduce algorithms, we'll analyze them mathematically and prove certain performance guarantees for them. And then we'll also talk about another kinds of problems, namely online learning problems. And for these, I'd like to give you an example of where I actually know that an online learning algorithm is being used. It's the cartoon caption competition of the New Yorker magazine. This magazine publishes a cartoon every week and people may submit captions to this cartoon. Eventually, they will be selecting one of the winners of this contest. But how do they do this? How do they get from, well, this huge number of submissions of captions down to a reasonable number of captions that you can actually, that they then offer uh, for the vote? Well, what you can do is you can participate in this process yourself. This is what you can see here. They are showing you a cartoon, they are showing you one caption and you'll have to tell them, well, is this funny or isn't this funny or is it at least somewhat funny? And depending on what you say there, uh, they get some idea of how funny this, car uh, this caption for this cartoon actually is. And then what they'll have to decide is which captions to actually show the, to you. Because maybe they have already 
realize that some of these captions just aren't funny. So probably there's no point in showing you again this really not funny caption. So while they are presenting these captions to you or to all the users, they get to know which of the captions are somewhat interesting for the readers, somewhat funny to the readers, and for which do we need more data, whether people consider this funny, or for which captions do we think, okay, they really are not funny. This is an example application of such an online learning algorithm, which we'll cover later in this course. Overall, the goals of this course are as follows. So, we want to design uncertainty via mathematical tools and actually we'll see different ways of modeling uncertainty. And then in each of these settings we will design certain algorithms and then prove certain properties of these algorithms mathematically. Most importantly we'll, we will show that they fulfill some certain guarantees in terms of how well do we solve the certain problem in terms of the objective function, for example. This course consists of three parts. The first one being about online algorithms, where we assume to not have any prior knowledge about the input whatsoever. Then the second part we talk about stochastic optimization problems, where we do have some very precise knowledge about the uncertain input, namely we assume to know probability distributions. And then the third part we'll talk about online learning, which is somewhere in between, namely in advance we do not know anything, but then over time we can learn some aspects or of we can learn, for example, which probability distributions the input is being drawn from, very roughly speaking. For all these three parts, we will see multiple problems, and in each of these problems, we will then derive algorithms, and we will be able to give certain performance guarantees for these algorithms. What prior knowledge should you have in order to follow this course? Well, you should have some basic knowledge on algorithms, on calculus, and on probability theory. But you do not need any particular knowledge on particular algorithms, for example. Every of these lectures in this course is well, some were trying to mimic a Blackboard lecture, although I'm not using a Blackboard. I'm using modern 21st century digital devices, but nonetheless, it is all handwritten, and so you might, if you like, um, write these things yourself, or you might also just read the lecture notes, because for every of these lectures, there's a separate document containing some sometimes a little sketchy um, notes for the respective lecture in which you will find everything that is covered in this respective lecture. So feel free to now watch any of this course, whatever you like, maybe all of it, maybe parts, and if you have any questions, please do reach out to me. So enjoy this and let's hope that we can as well meet sometime soon in person. Stay safe. Bye.